So it's coming to the close of another year here. Um, 2019 is fading away and we are gearing up for 2020, which is of course not only a new year, but a new decade. And so I really feel like this is just an opportunity to um, not just do the usual New Year's resolutions um, routine, but also kind of just look back on the last 10 years, look forward on the next 10 years, and do three things. Um, I'm really trying to do some number one, deep cleaning, not only in my house and organizing and just clearing out any kind of clutter and stuff um, that we don't need, don't use, that kind of thing, but also like deep cleaning in terms of just looking inward and kind of thinking about like what things about myself do I want to change? Um, what things about relationships or career or other things um, do I want to work on? So in that spirit, I was thinking of, you know, what has happened in the last decade? What has happened in the last year? Um, and I know that even on my YouTube channel, like there, there just are misunderstandings right and left with things that are said or things that people assume or whatever. And so I just wanted to, um, first and foremost, apologize um, from the bottom of my heart to anyone who has been offended by my words or my actions. Um, it's never been my intention to offend or to hurt anyone. And I hope that you can receive that if anything I've done or said has offended you or has not set right with you in some way. Um, it definitely has not been my intention to cause any pain. So um, I apologize if I have and um, I want to move forward with a clean slate and into the new year and into the new decade with just like, you know, an understanding of giving people grace and um, empathy and compassion. And I want to see the best in others. I hope that others can also see the best in me. And um, that's part of kind of my deep clean right now is um, I'm deep cleaning my house. I am breaking down boxes. I mean, who else has like a huge stack of Amazon boxes <laughs> and other things, um, other type of boxes, like all the deliveries, of course, accumulate that cardboard. So we wanna recycle that, break it down, reuse it, repurpose. Um, and then, and most importantly, of course, get it out of your house. So it's not just creating a cardboard wall um, somewhere that's a fire hazard. So then beside that, um, just reorganizing like clothing for me and my kids, shoes, like going through things and thinking like, did I, did we use this in the last year? Um, you know, has this served us any sort of purpose? Um, or is it just taking up space? So I really have kind of a um, sense of relief and freedom of thought more when I live in like a decluttered area. So I really like things to be clean and organized. So that's part of what kind of sets the tone for a new year for me is to just go through everything and think like, is there anything I can get rid of, whether it's bad feelings of people, toward me or of me toward them or whether it's those cardboard boxes or whether it's um you know clothes that langston has outgrown or toys he's not going to use anymore just pass them along um you know clear it out start fresh in the new year so the second thing in preparation for the new year for me is to do like a pep talk, basically to just encourage myself to um, build on my talents, to um, live in my truth, to stand strong, to celebrate my accomplishments while moving forward and reaching new goals. Um, so I think that one of the one of the components of that for me is just kind of analyzing and looking back on like what have I always wanted to do? Like what calls me, what pulls my soul and my spirit? 
And that thing that's kind of like that yearning is always activism and advocacy work for me. And then also kind of like evaluating what um, areas have I had like moments of excellence in, things I have won awards doing. Um, and I think for, for, for me, for that, it's been like teaching and art and leadership and um, I've also had some glimpses of excellence, of course, with my kids, so I would say parenting. And then just kind of evaluating further into your talents, like what do you learn really quickly that takes other people longer to learn maybe? Um, you know, so that like rapid learning, I was at a conference and there was a discussion about like how to like know what you're good at and that was one of the components like what do you learn really quickly and for me that's always been like art and writing cooking um speaking teaching things like that it just like gardening and there are a lot of things that i feel like i pick up really quickly but kind of trying to evaluate like okay what do you pick up quickly and what is kind of like slow and harder for you um and maybe you know going more toward the things that you are naturally inclined to do that you can do um, quickly and then also just kind of looking back at the last decade and considering like what are some areas of satisfaction for me I have been very satisfied with my children and their progress in life and also I have I in the last decade I have won a lot of awards for my leadership um, in the community and that was very satisfying um, teaching my students so I think like children and students and community has been, um, you know, just kind of like a point of satisfaction for me. It's also been, you know, I've had some heartbreaking areas with the community, which everyone knows about. But I, I think that as far as what I'm good at doing, um, I am good at leading and I am good at community organizing. And I do hope that um, I can get back into that in some form. So just kind of like doing some inventory again and uh, reminding yourself like in spite of what maybe other people say or in spite of what t twist or turn your career has taken or what you've been doing um, you know if you feel kind of stuck like what am I good at what potential do I have um, what should I like go toward in the future because we just have this one life to live so give yourself that pep talk encourage yourself remind yourself who you are and stand strong in that truth as you're going into 2020. so third and finally um i want to encourage you to going into 2020 ask for some help because it is so hard to face life on your own all alone on an island with no support and something I am not very good at doing is asking for help. <laughs> so um, not only ask for help, but also ask others how you can help them. And it's a lot more of a comfort zone for me to just say, how can I help? And to be of assistance than to actually receive help. So I'm learning, um, I ho hopefully I'm trying to learn how to better receive um, help because I cannot do everything in life alone. So my one ask, my one ask for 2020 is um, that I need help with public relations. I need help with PR. So if you um, have social media accounts, if you have friends, if you have, um, if you're on my YouTube channel, which you probably are if you're listening to this, um, I would just ask that you would share my YouTube posts, that you would share my website, that you would um, read my book and ask others to read it, pass it along, um, that you would watch or recommend the Netflix documentary to someone who hasn't seen it. Um, but again, my book, my website, my YouTube channel, those things are just really helpful because there are still millions of people who have a skewed view of who I am and even going into 2020 almost everything like all of my um, speaking engagements public appearances 
have been overshadowed by or all altogether canceled um, by criticism and haterade. And so I just really need help um, from others, from you to uh, just kind of spread like accurate information about who I am and share that with the world. So if you want to do that, um, I just would so appreciate that. On another note, if you want to be like a real MVP, <laughs> um, go the extra mile and purchase an original or a print of my artwork on my website or a signed book or signed photo or a set of dolls. Um, any of those things, of course, really do help because that is how I am currently paying the bills with me and my kids. And that just helps us get by um, one more month in life. So. Uh, but my one ask really it's totally free it doesn't cost anything but it does take time which is valuable so if you could share my website and my art and my book and um, my YouTube channel in 2020 I would so appreciate it and then also I would just want to hear from you my fam my crew my peeps whoever's out there um, that's kind of like on my team like what can I do to help you? So I really want to know, you know, is there a product? Is there a post? Is there some type of action I can take in 2020 um, to be there for you? Um, a video, like what, you know, what is it that you might want from me? How can I help you in your life? So number one, back to the beginning of this little short New Year's Eve video. Number one, um, clean slate, clear out the clutter of your house, of your um, mind, of, you know, like broken relationships. Just like try and clean up as much as you can control um, your environment and your space and your vibe. And then number two, Give yourself that pep talk. Remind yourself, like, what are your talents? What are your skills? What are you good at? What is something that, like, you always, like, from youngest age to now, have always been drawn to? How can you incorporate that into your life in this new year or um, underscore that or, like, give that a boost um, and therefore, you know, give yourself a, a boost? So, pep talk. Uh, for you and then number three is ask something of someone like make an ask let people know like what you need because it's hard for people to give specific things if you don't if they don't know what would even be helpful so I think there are a lot of people that do get satisfaction out of giving I'm one of them so if somebody has a need and it's possible for you to meet that need, then also ask, how can I help you? So those are kind of my three thoughts as the new year um, approaches, as 2019 fades away, and 2020 and this whole new decade is upon us. So um, I'm looking forward to the new year, and I wanted to thank everyone on YouTube who's been here with me since March when I really started posting videos on my channel and built this uh, small little network here of 3,000 plus people uh, subscribed to my channel now. So uh, thank you for being there for me and let me know how I can be there for you.